Well, I was surprised to find out that people here at Most Buffalo did not know what a mocktail was. And by people, I mean my producer, Colin. But television is learning, and today our teacher is Nate Benson. Take a look. Did you know that non-alcoholic beer sales have increased 3.9% for the last five years? Did you also know that amongst Generation Z, which are people a little bit younger than me, of course, don't drink much at all? In fact, it's down 20% from millennials, which millennials are down significantly from baby boomers and Gen X. So in a new series I'm calling Nate Wants to Know, I wanted to find out where can you go in Buffalo if you just want a relaxing, fun night and not have to worry about the sale of alcohol. And I think I found the spot. Speakeasy Buffalo is a a uh, great atmosphere where people can come and eat, um, of course, in a sober environment. We said, let's try, let's try a sober bar and restaurant. Um, we all love food, and if you're in Buffalo, you just love food. But one thing that we all have in common is we all have people in our lives that have been impacted by addiction. And because of that, and, and as you get to know people, you'll find that there really isn't any place for somebody in recovery to go. Everything that we have, it being from scratch, is very refreshing. So everything that we have is fresh. Uh, we're keeping a very short shelf life on everything. So if you're having a drink here, uh, it has been produced within a week. Sometimes I ask myself as I'm peeling lemons and ginger for hours nonstop, I call my friends, hey, you want to peel ginger? Um, they're refusing to answer my calls anymore. As we looked at non-alcoholic drinks, they are filled with sugar. I mean, they are just, if you look at a simple syrup, it is chalk filled with syrup and um, corn syrup and preservatives and things like that. We encourage everybody that is uh, out in Lovejoy to come out and see what we have to offer. As we've been talking about, we have great and different food options for people to enjoy. One of the really fun things has been to watch the excitement on people's faces. I think um, last night we served a, a strawberry daiquiri to a young man. He just couldn't believe that there wasn't alcohol in it. And, um, and it was fun for him and he just said, I never thought I would be in a place just having fun like this without alcohol. And so, yeah, there's life after alcohol. So if you're looking for fresh, homemade mocktails, good food, and good atmosphere, come on out to Lovejoy and check out Speakeasy Buffalo. In Lovejoy, I'm Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.